I'm Tom. Each week I try to share my reflections on one of the readings for Sunday service. Along with that, I often add a little background music that goes with the theme of the meditation. Our gospel reading for this Pentecost Sunday is John chapter 7, verses 37 through 39. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this he meant the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the Spirit had not been given, since Jesus had not yet been glorified. This is a word for those who thirst. Jesus is tapping, if you'll pardon the pun, into the trope of how God provided for thirsty people as they traveled in the wilderness from captivity in Egypt toward the blessings of the promised land. Not only was this a well-known story to Jesus' audience, it was being commemorated at the very festival alluded to in the first phrase of our reading. The feast was the Feast of Tabernacles, which along with Passover and Pentecost, was one of the three festivals for which Jews would come from within whatever country they found themselves to the temple in Jerusalem. At the Feast of Tabernacles, or booths, each of the first seven days, water was gathered from the Pool of Siloam, then brought to the altar where the, otter, where the water was poured out to remind the people of how God had provided for them on their wilderness journey. But on the eighth day, no water was poured. They prayed for water as a reminder of how they were already in the promised land. So at the end of this water-themed festival, Jesus said what he says to you and I today. If you're thirsty, come and get it. The water is here. Jesus goes on to explain that this wasn't water from a rock or a well. It is living water, the promised Holy Spirit. Now, at this point, forgive me, but I'm going to indulge for a minute myself and all you other word nerds, because there are a couple of places here where I think some popular translations, such as the NIV and NRSV, may have obfuscated the point of what Jesus is saying. The NIV says, for example, quote, rivers of living water will flow from within them, unquote. The first problem being that the word translated them, well, that word isn't there. There's a singular, not a plural word there. And the second problem is a bit less egregious. The NIV says the rivers of water will, quote, flow from within, unquote. It totally leaves out the word coileus. Coileus is a Greek word that literally means the parts of the digestive tract, starting at the gullet and all the way down to the stomach. And more commonly, it was used to refer to the womb. It was often used as a figure of speech in that time, maybe because the food we put into our stomachs and the babies that come out of our wombs are sources of love and joy. Maybe because of that, the coileus was seen as the seat of human emotion much in the same way that we talk about holding someone in our hearts. And we're not talking about the organ of our hearts, even though we clutch our chest when we say things like that. So this phrase is saying that, quote, to the one who is believing, out of his heart, belly, or womb will flow rivers of living water, unquote. Out of whose heart, belly, or womb is Jesus speaking? based on the previous verse where Jesus tells us that if we're thirsty, come to him and drink, I think it is referring back to himself, singular as the Greek itself is, and not to the one who is believing. Although if you take it as to the one who is believing, it would also be singular. So it's a possibility that's left open uh, to the translator. But in the context of Pentecost, I think the takeaway here is that just as the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus at his baptism at the beginning of his ministry, soon the Holy Spirit will come upon his disciples, not only to equip them for serving one another, not only for making disciples of every race, nationality, and culture, but also 
for a satisfying, full, and blessed life. The living water, the Holy Spirit, flowed out of Jesus' womb to give birth to no less than what we today know as the church. Happy Pentecost. May we celebrate in the fullness of God's Spirit. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul, I've got peace like a river.